Long story short, Joseph and Devin went out to the spillway to drive the ATV, and Mom had to wait till Devin got back to help him with the trailer, so just kind of pushed everything back a little bit. But we're here, we're live, and tonight we are doing something a little bit different than normal. Mom pointed out the other day that we're doing a lot of painting lately. So today we're going to do some paper mache with the Craft Crush Paper Bowls Kit. And I purchased this from David's Art Supply here in Metairie, Louisiana about mm, late December and paid about $18 for it. So the back of the kit, or rather, let's see if I can find in the, there we go. Okay. So this kit includes three plastic bowl forms in three sizes. 120 pattern paper circles, six ounces of water-based glue, one foam applicator and instructions. If you're watching this alone at or if you're watching this along at home, you probably don't need this kit at all. What you might want are some plastic bowls. You could get them from Dollar Tree or some Pyrex bowls. You could get if you have that already. Um, for the paper circles, you could use paper punches and a paper of your choice have you have you checked to see what kind of paper this is first? i have not yet the, like the heaviness of it i don't i i part of me thinks it might be magazine stock mm -hmm. that glossy stock uh what i want to try later on after we've tried this is i have some really beautiful papers mm -hmm. and i thought we could try doing a bowl with that Maybe so so uh for the water-based glue that's going to be any white craft glue like elmer's glue and then the foam applicator, I imagine that's a cheap foam brush that you could get right. pretty much right. anywhere. So there's really no reason, in my opinion, to pay $18 for a kit like this, other than it's already going to have everything you need. But a lot of this is just household kind of stuff. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I really don't mind having paid $18 for because David's is a local art supply store. Uh, I always love going there. You guys have seen my Shop With Me videos about David's Art Supply. So anything that kind of helps them stay in business, I'm on board with. And if you're in the greater New Orleans area, I highly recommend you make a trip out to David's Art Supply and check them out. I think you'll be pretty happy with what you find. should also say, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever other than just as a customer. They're not paying me to say any of that or anything like that. I just really like the store. I've been shopping with them since I was like, what? 14, 15. She's got a deep addiction. I, yeah. She's the one who usually they goes with me. They have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff, yeah. So I'm going to move the camera, and we'll take a look at last week's craft, okay. which was the paper marbling. Uh, the good thing, even though this is pricey like this, is that it does include the directions. It does, so, yes. You know, you can do this once you learn how to do this. That's it true. might be something that you can do with stuff many, from many home. Times. Yeah, because you also right. have the form. The forms are the thing that right. I'm like, yeah, you could fake it, but I wonder how you peel these off. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to see. Uh, hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Maybe some uh, like cooking spray or something. Oh, maybe we'll see what it says. We'll allow it to. You want me to go ahead and open it? Uh, we're gonna take a look really quick at last week's craft first. Okay. All right, so last week we did water marbling with the Ito water marbling kit. I had it somewhere. I don't see it. That's okay. It's a small, oh wait, here it is. It, those are those, those dots. reusable paper dots. It is um, a fairly small water marbling kit. It doesn't actually come with most of what you're going to need for this, but a little goes a long way. With the individual inks, I mean, we didn't even approach using up the no, inks, not by didn't. far. No, we, we used, still got we have to use drops. Lots. So this is a thing that once you have this kit, you're going to be able to do a lot of different things. And actually, I want to try doing water marbling on um, like tote bags or something because okay. they mentioned you can do it on cotton. Mm. I don't, I've never done it. Yeah, start small with with fabric maybe. Well, maybe way we have some scrap white cotton. I think at your house. Could maybe did you did you said you wanted to try writing on this with I any? am gonna try painting on some of them, like do a watercolor illustration and see okay. how well they work together. So these are some of the best ones. Uh these are on Fabriano cotton rag. It's just like it's not a watercolor paper necessarily, but it plays well with watercolor. Came out, came out very pastel. Yeah. 
Except for this one. That's like heavy. the only one that's but bright. Look how pretty that is, though, you know? Because you could actually paint something on that. And the background colors wouldn't interfere with... Um... These are the cold press she's in watercolor paper. So these are cotton rag. Uh -huh. These have too much texture, I think. This is the hot press. And okay. I think you can see the patterns a lot better. Mm -hmm. The camera's a little blown out. It is a little blown out. I'm not super sure why. Other than this is very yellow lighting and yeah, sometimes it's cameras. It's the same light you always use. And some of these... With the swirling and stuff like that. It almost looks like a picture of the coastline. Yeah, really. And then these are some of our not as successful ones. So we tried Canson Montval. So this is a cellulose based watercolor paper. We tried the mixed media paper. But you didn't flatten these I, out. I was about to say that, yeah. We tried uh, regular printer paper, which turned out okay, it actually. We really picked up the colors. Oh, this no. one's real pretty. Like this, what was this? A texture of something that yeah, you had on top. Yeah, the paper top. towel. Okay. This yeah. turned out pretty. Some of these yeah, I did flatten, and some of them I didn't. Our best results, in my opinion, though, are these. when I was able to rinse them out at a at a sink to rinse off the excess black ink. Yeah. And then dry and then flatten them for a week. Yeah. But that was surprisingly easy. Mm-hmm. Do you want to take any home and try writing on any of them? Why would I do that? I don't know, as, as cards, like greeting cards or something. Why would I do that? I'm just offer them before <laughs> I hoard all of them for myself. Please hoard all of them for yourself. Actually, some of these are so pretty that you could actually put them like in small frames. That's true. And do a... Um, Oh yeah, like a collage. A collage. And you could do, you could make bookmarks out of this. Mm -hmm. You could make gift tags. Mm -hmm. You could make just cards and mm -hmm. write either on the surface or write on the other right, side. Right. Especially with the hole punch, you can make. Oh, we can make a bowl. Or you can make uh, design. Actually, we could make a bowl with the printer paper. Oh, we could. Depending on how today's, how this kit yeah. goes. Okay. Okay. So, this is the Craft Crush Paper Bowl Kit. And it has not been opened. I haven't checked and read the instructions or anything like that. Because when we do these craft kit reviews, I like to come in as blind as anyone else oh, who might is, be receiving the kit. This is tape. Yeah, I'm looking for like a, a pair of scissors. Or a knife. And yes, here you go. Okay. And I don't have another foam brush, but I do have a couple of flat. Okay. Do we have? Else? Oh yeah. Look. Do we have a instructions? Uh, uh, we a do. Tablecloth or something. No, I have. Because this is another one of those things. That was the thing about the watercolor thing yeah. is that it got really kind of messy. And if you're doing this on a really nice table, you really. You know, always should think about protecting the wood. If it's wood. So they're treating this glue like decoupage, right? Yeah. Seems so you like could it. probably use Mod Podge. Yeah, because this is called water based glue sealant. Here, and I've lift. been willing to bet lift. this is decoupage. Could be. Stuff. Yes, garbage bags. Always. I don't have uh, any more tablecloths. The gar the garbage large bag. kitchen, I mean the garb the leaf bags would be really good too. Jim's done a Margraf tree so you commented that you were talking about. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. Yeah, I just need to hit up Walmart because they have these really cute Mardi Gras garlands. I might have a tree up year round. My husband's like, oh. that keeps you from having to take no. it down. private tutoring, private art tutoring, and having a cute studio space. Okay, this needs to go. I mean, I'm not going to pull this out all the way, but this, this, it smells like glue, but yeah. I, I do look at the bed, it's like it decoupage, might be like Elmer's. decoupage stuff. Because it's also called a sealant. Yeah. And and Elmer's glue is not really, not really sealant, a sealant because if it gets wet even after it's drawn. Well even Mod it gets Podge really tacky. can get like that depending on what kind you get. 
They I just wasn't opening it all the way. Are you just going to, you're not going to pour some in a container? Oh, that's not a bad idea. I do actually have some disposable cups. Okay, and these, oh, these are kind of like little discs. Yes. This is not just. Are they double-sided? They're double-sided, and they are, they have a shiny finish, and they're very. Um, stiff, huh? Stiff, yeah. So, but they do have some interesting. That doesn't patterns. that doesn't mean necessarily that one couldn't use scrapbook paper mm. or chiogami paper. It's something Except we're gonna have to experiment with. It's not gonna absorb this right as much. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, I mean, in a good in a way, it's good because it's not gonna warp them. It's just going to glue them to each other. But you want them warped a little bit so they take on the bowl form. Oh, there's a warning on here. It's probably like probably do not eat suffocation. Yeah, the bag. The bag can cause suffocation. Does it say how old, like ages or whatever, and up? Uh, oh, that would be on the box, wouldn't it? Or in the instructions. Or in the instructions. Let's see. Yeah, this has your shirt skewed back up. Oh, thank you. I think Aunt Paula gave it to me a while back. I think so. Yeah. Um. Hopefully we don't need all this, but I poured it into a couple of cups. <coughs> well, you have to let the bowls dry on the forms for five days. Well, that means we're going to check in next week. So the glue can harden. With the results. Uh, it doesn't say... Hmm. There's a customer care number that doesn't say for ages. Da, da, da. So that I would think would still be on the box. So here's your foam brush, and here are your forms. Oh, I know why those are double sided. It's so that when you look in the bowl, right, it's, it's pretty right, too. Right, right, right. But that kind of limits this kit, unless you're using like magazine pages, which you could. This or is old book. This is stiffer than this is. This is not cardboard, but it's a hard it's a, stock. Maybe it's a much stiffer. Paper than magazine paper. Magazine paper would probably tear when it gets you, wet. Yeah, when yeah. you do that. But these, these are like, almost like discs. I'm just not a fan of kits where you have to buy there's a refill of. No, but you just have to find something that has the same, probably yeah. the same quality. I don't know. Um, I'm, as I'm far as weight. Some discs from some of the. Yeah. Thought it's worth a try. And I think also the smaller, the more, the easier it would be to work them around the bowl. The bigger no. they are, the more they have to the, bend. With the, no, with the smaller, they're going to have to bend more. Because you're, you you're getting a curvature, it's just in a smaller surface. Watch, like this and like this. Oh, I thought you meant smaller bowl. No, I'm just talking about how much paper. Oh, I'm just trying something. You never know if you don't try. I know. Irma says that's the biggest hole punch they've ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh, they make bigger ones than this even. This is a two and a quarter. And you have the three different sizes. And there's the big one, I'm assuming. What kind of plastic? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe it, it, it's got kind of a look Sorry, of like milk cartons. Sorry, y'all. My phone is ringing, and I've been getting garbage calls all day. So I'm going to decline that. I wish I could put my phone on Do Not Disturb, but then it would have trouble picking up the audio. <laughs> Somebody this, sold my information. This feels kind of like milk cartons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, plastic. Um, so maybe it's been recycled. Somewhere in between, recycled. like... Um, like a plastic, a heavy plastic bowl and like disposable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't you read the instructions? Okay. Oh, goodness. This, hello, this kit, like every kit, craft kit we make is special to us. We've gone to great lengths to try and make it special for you, too. From quality materials to easy to follow instructions to cool finished products you create. 
and our hope is that you'll have as much fun making it as we did designing and developing it. Fingers crossed. Show us. We'd love to see how your project turned out. Do our so promotion please for us. Share your photos and comments with other crafting fans via social with hashtag where fun rules dot. Happy crafting. The Ann Williams team. You're almost as mean as I am. Like when I I'm read those mean. and it starts. I'm trying to read expressively. Hmm? It says important bowls are for decorative use only and not for use with food. Donut eat. So you cannot. Put your popcorn or your candy. Well, if, if you put anything wet in them, again, it's because this is kind it. of like Elmer's glue, it's going to make it soft and it's going to make it very tacky. Yeah. Begin by protecting your work area with newspapers or other materials to keep glue from con contacting <laughs> the work surface. So they couldn't get back up. So they're going to go for they're me. They're going to harass nope. me. It's one of this those evenings. This is Devin. Okay. All right. Well, while she's doing that, I'm just yeah. going to punch some circles out so that we can try those later on. I'm not a fan of kits where you can't do the thing if you don't buy their refill. Um, and like, for example, that would be like a needle felting kit that pretends that there's no wool roving in the world, but their wool roving. And if you want to make more needle crafts, you have to buy their wool roving. And with these circles, I'm kind of like Arr, about it. Cause it's like, I, I hope you can use other papers. Like what I thought was cool about this kit was like the idea that you could take the materials they gave you purchased because they're not giving you anything. You could take the materials that came in the kit and use your own materials to make bowls out of whatever. So, um, and what's kind of neat about these papers that we did the other day is that they did kind of seep through. So you do actually get a pretty surface on the Only other side. For some of them. No, for the, the ones that I'm cutting though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, printer paper. Yeah. Uh, is Devin coming over here? No, he's not. Oh, okay. His, he thinks his meeting was canceled or whatever. Because he's there and there's nobody there's else There's no one there. Except the paid staff, so. My brother is a firefighter, so he was going to a firefighter meeting Yeah, they tonight. were supposed to have training tonight. So. Well, I wish they'd have let him know. All right, yeah, so. Maybe they did. How do we get started with this? What do we okay. got to do? Okay, uh, select a bowl form and place it upside down on your protected work surface. Spread out some paper circles to choose from. So I'm going to put these over here. I can get a bowl to put them in if you think that would help. Well, these one of the other bowls to do that too. <laughs> It just depends on. They all seem to kind of go together. They do, yeah. I mean, if so, this is your shtick, it's like um, Western Americana. Not well, really. Not my so shtick. much this. No, but like but, with the feathers and yeah, the arrows yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and like in some of these designs. Yeah. Anyway, they look like they could kind of all go together. So, spread out the paper surface to choose from. Generously apply glue to both sides of a paper circle using the foam applicator. So which one? You can have the foam if you'd like. And well, I'll take what the... you do is start around and go around. Well, so. you do You do it to this and then uh -huh. you stick it on. Right. Actually, I'm going to take my silicone rings off just in case. Okay. All right, so you're going to do this one or what? Sure. Are you going to do one of the other ones, or do you want to do this one? Okay, I'll do another one. So, pass okay. me a, a jar. Okay. So, we're... Painting circles. Putting the glue, or the whatever yeah. it is, Mod Podge glue. It, it smells like Mod Podge more than it smells like Elmer's. It's got, like, that yeah. chemical kind of... And, and I don't think you want to put thing. too much on it. Probably a thin layer. Probably a little bit goes a long way because when you apply it to the plastic it probably squish out that's a good point point. and i think we're going to make we're going to use a so coat of this after anyway. my concern and then we're just applying it at the bottom uh no i mean we're just applying it directly to the bowl yeah, like this now i've got sticky fingers yeah and i'm touching sticky on the outside yeah i mean our hands are going to be this is yeah, probably I don't a know messy how this is going to work i don't either because it's so really stiff Let's keep trying. Maybe that's the point. I don't know. My, mine are not really So conforming. after we've covered the bowl with these, what is it? 
Um, are we then coating another, doing another coat of this? Place paper circle onto bowl form. We find it works best if you plate, place circles around the rim, then work towards the center. Okay, so like but what you, you said. Gotta, uh, you know, I don't think they're that concerned about them actually totally conforming yeah, to the shape. Yeah, this is not an eating bowl. This is a... Right. So, um, hey, Joseph, while you're up, can you find um, another angle for the camera where people can see what we're doing? My hands have yeah. Mod Podge on them. So this is a messy craft. If you've got kiddos who, like when I was a kid, I really, I still don't really like getting my hands dirty. Or maybe some of those nitro gloves. Yeah, nitro gloves. Or this, if you've got kids who don't like getting stuff all over their hands. Or maybe they like getting one. this stuff on their hands because that way when it dries, they can peel it off. That's some kids, for sure. That's some kids. I'm just saying, I, I know some kids who like, due to just different reasons, do not like getting stuff on their hands. See, yours. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? I'm trying to, um... Do not look to me for... Oh, I was thinking maybe behind, but... Oh. If you can I, see I good, then that, it doesn't matter. I don't think it's going to look very good. Okay. Behind. Then don't worry about it. I might pinch zoom a little bit, though. Oh, you mean because you're working on that side exactly. of the Exactly. But okay. if you can't, if there's not a good space for it, don't don't worry about it. I'll probably just move to over here. Okay. Thank you. Did you like getting your hands dirty as a kid? Yeah. Did it didn't bother you if you were doing something like paint or something like that and you got... If you wore it? Yeah. No, never really bothered me. It was, I was picky about it, so like, um, I'm still that way to this day. Oils and stuff, I don't want it on my hands, because it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't seem like, it doesn't matter how much you wash your hands, you still have oils on your hands. So it depends on the medium. It depends on the medium. And part of that is because as a kid, even as an adult, but as a kid, I was always working on like 16 different projects at one time, and having clean hands meant I could switch projects without having to like wash my hands and dry them. So we're going to go all the way around the bowl, starting at the base. Yeah. And then I guess the same thing in concentric circles working our way up. Yeah, sure hope they dry really. <laughs> it says five days. Well, I know, but when you start stacking them above, yeah. that could get... I'm um, curious to see how they remove from the bowl, but we'll find that well, out. Well, if they... Week. I don't think there's going to be a problem, because the bowl doesn't absorb. No, but it, but you're like gluing them to the bowl. So they should mm -hmm. peel uh -huh. off, but you need like a silicone bowl, something sloppy, where you can depress it a little bit and then peel would work it, well. Yeah. Um, so Jen said something about using a silicone bowl. Yeah. Uh, and some other people said some things. Yeah. Okay. Silicone bowl makes sense, but that would make, I mean, this was kind of an expensive kit for what you're getting, so they could have afforded to include silicone bowls. Uh, Calvin made a comment about the Bagel Punch uh, Burmus uh, Printer Ink, and Indy said you can use different papers. This is not new crafty idea. No, it's not a new crafty idea. Um, I don't think you're, you're looking for new craft ideas. I think what you're doing is looking at different kits. Oh, yeah. But to I, see how feasible they are. Yeah. And cost effective they are. Yeah. And also, um, like, if they punish children. you for doing them. Like, there's some kits I've gotten, like, the, the eraser kit, right? Yeah. I felt nice. punished. <laughs> I felt like they were antagonizing. Well, I know it's not personal, point, but... Where I go to the store now, and if I see a bag of erasers, it's like... You shudder. Sure? It's so much easier to do yeah. than what we And I collected do. funny erasers as, like, a kid. So, that would have been, like... I could have seen a family member buying me that kit. Because I was already interested in that, and then like how disappointed I would yeah. have been. So it's really about the feasibility of doing the kit with children and or teenagers or teenagers, and and the cost effectiveness. I mean, also, also, I'd like to start reviewing some kits for adults, but it's hard to find those. Yeah. Um, so I ordered a needle felting kit. Yeah. So that. Should be coming. I ordered it yesterday, so that should be coming in. Because we were talking about felting. I've wanted to do needle felting for a while, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. And then I've been looking at punch embroidery kits too. 
That's later on. Joseph and I have a deal that yeah. I have to finish the kits before I buy more kits, so. Not get ahead of yourself. Right, I'm just scoping, I'm not buying. So you should, if you have ideas, you should write them down. Yep, I do. And not necessarily invest in them. Right. What'd you say? So I didn't have patrons vote on them. I should have the patrons vote on them. With the cost, because we may decide. Well, some some of the thing with cost, some of it is like if you spend more, you do genuinely get a better experience. Like I have a wood burning; it's not a kit. I bought a wood burning tool yeah. for us to do wood burning, and um, you read the reviews, and the cheap ones are really terrible and will make you think you hate wood burning. Whereas some of the nicer ones actually give you a real experience. For but it's it. also about with some of these kits, like like you're talking about the wood burning tool. Yeah. If you have the wood burning tool, you don't necessarily need to buy another wood burning tool. You just buy more materials. Right. And so some of these. I like kits uh, like that where it gets you started. Right. It gets and you, you started. Just, you like like it comes with the needles. Right. And whatever. I like this one. You know, you're already thinking about uh, possibly it doing your own paper. with other kind of paper, and uh, these bowls you can probably use over and over and over again. If you want to make that many of these. Well, and on that note, this could maybe be something you did with a small class. Mm -hmm. Because if you can use other papers, and the only limiting factor really is the bowls. Because mm -hmm. you can buy Mod Podge. You can make Mod Podge even. So I'm all about kits that have reusable ideas and reusable yeah. assets. Or can be used as extensions of like, other things. I'm too. not into decoupage. My, like I'm 100% not into it. It's not for me. Uh, but there are a lot of people who are, and a lot of people do really cool stuff with collage using decoupage. So just because it's not something I would normally pick up doesn't mean it's not a worthwhile hobby or craft. Well, when Paula was going to college, she had, she was given an old, it was what, Daddy's trunk? Daddy's Army trunk. Army trunk. And, that big I mean, red one? Really? No. No. And painted it yellow. And then we at that time, Peter Max, you know, during the 60s, yeah. he was a very popular illustrator. And um, like he did the yellow submarine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like and a British so illustrator, right? We would right? cut out yeah. things and put things on this trunk and decoupage them on there. Yeah. yeah. Or you could do it with a guitar case. Yeah. Well, this was this was like iron. This was like anything you put in. It was already seriously heavy. Yeah, it was. It was one of those. You dropped it. Foot lockers. Yeah, if you dropped it on your foot, you you knew it. Even if it was empty, you knew it. But it did make it more attractive than it was. Yeah, I think painting it bright yellow made it more attractive than it was. I I, I like bright yellow, like not to wear, but I like it as a color. I would wear it too. That's where we learned about decoupage. Now, I like that these bowls have a lip on them, so you can rest right. the circles on right. the lip. Shonda Pryor says hello. Hi, good evening. We tried a lot of things Actually, when we were younger. on this uh -huh. note. Right. You could do uh, magazine cutouts like this, maybe, and make a bowl from magazine cutouts. Maybe. maybe so. We'll have to see. Maybe so. And that's where we got our pictures from, was yeah, magazines. Magazine. Because all the magazines, all the useful magazines, had a lot of that kind of art in it. How are you liking the foam brush? Is it okay? Would you rather okay. use? No, it doesn't matter. Because I do have another one. I mean, it's all over my fingers, isn't it? Yeah. Now? Well, same for this. But I mean, is it getting gummy? No, or... it's not getting gummy. It's okay. And they also recommend that when you finish, you take the brush and you wrap it in like a sandwich bag or something or, or saran wrap mm -hmm. or cellophane uh, to keep it moist and I guess keep it in the refrigerator. I can just wash it. Um, it didn't say that. I'm going to watch it because it says it's okay to have gaps between the circles. This is normal. 
Okay, so as we're building up, mm -hmm. there may be some gaps. Oh, well, that's, that's okay. That's fine. No, we'll do that one because that's just not got already put on there. You know, for years, and this is going to catch me some flack, but I'm um, sure just, yeah. just, no, just hear me out. No, no, my audience is really nice. But I'm about to say something oh, flat from the audience. that might be controversial. Oh, oh I thought you were talking so about just, flat just from hear me you. out. Um, you know, I used to love doing crafts. I did all kinds of different crafts. I did embroidery bracelets. I sewed. I did cosplay. I made jewelry. I love making things with buttons. I did uh, crochet for a while. I did... I got stuff. Throw some stuff at me. Beadwork for a little bit. I did embroidery for a while. I like you, you used to do anything that you could get. You saw on, right? that you liked yeah. and you were willing to try. Yeah. And then when I went to college, I was making a lot of crafts because I had an Etsy shop. Um, but then when I went to grad school, I gave up all of that because I convinced myself that yeah. in order to become a comic artist, I really needed to focus Look just on the art, which I did need to dedicate more time to the art. But it's a shame that I gave up. Things so that you much, like the fun things. yeah. So much that I just enjoy doing. Yeah. Yeah, because as you get older, then you become. I mean, the things that we we tried when we were younger and fearless, evidently. This isn't that hard, though. I know, but you're willing to. My my biggest fear is that I might make a mess, or I'm not so much a mess, but it may not come out right, and I've wasted money on yeah. materials. And in those days. I mean, it was like... Expensive and harder to get. Right, but you still, you just had more guts, you know? Well, I think also... Cause I, I, I think about when she was batiking. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, you had to buy the beeswax, you had to buy the this. Well, it wasn't beeswax, it was... It was just plain wax. Golf paraffin? Wax, huh? Paraffin, yeah. yeah. And she had to buy the fabric, and she had to buy the this, and the dye, and the Yeah, dye, it gets dye. expensive. And how kind of fearless she was in doing that whereas probably, i didn't know what the heck i was doing no i mean you just kind of jumped like, into it yeah. and um you're not so eager to do that these days well i, I can i can see both sides because it is expensive and yet it's, at that time but she didn't have any money in those days oh, either no, sure she was a I student did. you know so i mean whatever money she had she had she gotten Save for from it. Parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that was probably a difficult task. Yeah. I know, but if you needed it for class, they never said no, you can't have it. No, but was it for class? They, you, did you make it for something? Did you, was, did it? You, huh? was it for class? No, I made it for a boyfriend. <laughs> Excuse me. I should have kept it. You should have. It was really probably really nice. At yeah. The time the Olympics were going on. Oh. So and, what made you decide um, to do it for him? The design kind of looked like five to five. Right yeah, there, like yeah. Months. And I really should have kept it. Yeah. But, um, That's the, that is the well, truth. What, what did the, the boyfriend do with the... Um, I have no You idea. never want to know. You never want to know. I mean, what was the plan? Are you just decided... I just gonna... decided I was going to make it and give it to him. Oh, he was going to be like, oh, over the moon. Who oh, even knows? Yeah. It's, a, it's hit or miss. It really is. And he's going, what's this? Once yeah. upon a time, I made these pixel art embroidered ornaments. And yeah, they were kind of expensive. I remember that. And they took a while, and they looked really good. And they were like anime characters. No, no, anime. it was Mega Man. Game. All the Mega Man bosses yeah, yeah, from yeah, yeah. One of that person's yeah, games. Like, and I worked so hard on it, and I stayed up so many nights to get it done in time for Christmas. And I made a bunch. There's like six of them. And then you and wrote your them in these little frames. No, they were in the embroidery hoops, but yeah. I tied like ribbons. Like they looked really cute. Yeah. And I actually want to redo that. Not the Mega Man ones, but like different Zelda, like different links from yeah. the Zelda games for archery, because that's something you and I like, Joseph. Yeah. But um, the person I gave it to was just so unimpressed. Yeah. And it really ticked me off. And then he had a friend come over when I was there, and the friend thought it was, like, no one had said anything, and the friend zoomed in on it and was like, this is so cool. Yeah. And when that person was like, yeah, Becca made it, the guy was like, oh, I'll pay you to make me some. Yeah. So it really 
depends. You didn't, you didn't realize the value. I don't know, because that person. Because you, you didn't buy it, you, you made it. You couldn't give that person handmade gifts because they always acted like it was, it was less. less. Yeah. So they were just yeah. not a good person to give handmade gifts to. Yet you put so much time and energy into it. You I know? did. So it dep it really depends on the person. That's a shame. And he probably never changed. I have, oh, I have no idea. Anyway, I don't even know. Uh, I asked him, we were trying to be friends years ago after, and I asked whatever happened with the ornaments, and he's like, oh, I threw them away. Huh. I don't think he did. I think he probably gave them to someone, which would have been better. Yeah. But. That's so, a shame. You, yeah, you got to be careful when you put, when you make anything for someone, you're putting so much of yourself yes. and your heart into it. You got to be careful. Yeah, some people only appreciate it if it costs you a lot of money. Yeah. To buy, and that's where the value is. It's yeah. Not how much you sell? Your time or your energy. Well, it was expensive though, because at that time well, I had to buy I'd all the stopped parts. Stopped embroidering for years, yeah. so I had to buy everything all over again. It wasn't a cheap present. Not that there's anything wrong with cheap presents either, because there's stuff people have given me from like Dollar Tree that was like yeah, but I mean, just so clever. It's like it's like um, like when I was teaching and the kids would bring gifts like Aww, at Christmas time. Yeah, I always liked that Some of the things gifts that they made it. meant the most were the ones you that they remember spent time those making. baskets and they had yeah. like like rice and beans. They were meant to look like little little crawfish baskets. I don't think they made them. I know, but I thought that was the cutest. Those thing. were ornaments. I know. Yeah, the roaches thought they I were bet the they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They really appreciate the Christmas food. gift for us. Yeah. <laughs> for, for real? <laughs> well, main stuff got to be careful. That really needed to be shellacked or something. Yeah. Or something, yeah. yeah. I don't know what the solution to that is. Because they even put the little beans in like a plastic bag and then they put it in a burlap, a little burlap sack. Like, I don't know whoever made that. it tried to make it. Well, they spent a lot they of time. no such thing as roach proof, though. These bowls, roaches would probably eat these bowls because of the glue. Yeah. Yeah. Roaches will eat anything. 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 But, you know, me saying that doesn't mean you shouldn't make things for people or. I would just be selective. Yeah, keep it for yourself. If you really Certain like it people and you're not be, sure if they'd like it, keep it for yourself. They would just be so much happier if you just went out and buy, bought a stupid present, yes. you know, with no thought. No thought. Leave the price tag on. Please. Yeah. So I can brag. <laughs> really. Yeah. Then something that you that you put all that effort and creativity into. Yeah, please don't do that. And it's more of a self-preservation thing because it does hurt a lot to have spent so much time yeah. and love on something and then but they you don't know care. That when you give somebody a present I know you relinquish yeah. your hold right. on anything emotional that went into it and so they're I don't agree with that. They can do whatever they, they can want with but if it. it's if it is something whatever. To, I like gifts. gifts we are and that's another reason why I thought we should probably yeah. do. Um I like gifts that someone made. Well, you like to make things. Period. I do. So, like my brother made me one year. He didn't know what to get me. And he didn't have any money. And he asked what I want. And I said, I want a themed mixtape or themed CD. And Joseph had to help him. But he made a CD themed around time. And that CD lives in my car. So I can listen to it. And I appreciated the gift that I got one Christmas of uh -oh. coupon. Coupon. I still right. have one. <laughs> 30 minutes of silence. Yeah. Too bad it doesn't work on Devin. Yeah. I'll, if you want me to redeem it, I will. But I mean, the, the artwork on it was just... A I little mean, It wasn't just, you know, 30 minutes of free time. I'm not going to talk. I put, you actually put, put the time clock. into it. Yeah. And, you know, I got that idea from Highlights. Because Highlights suggested, or Zillions, suggested if you don't have money... Yeah. To give your parents a present, they might enjoy like a chore coupon or like yeah. a babysitting coupon. Because it means that you're putting an idea. Because you're putting yourself into yeah. it and it's something that you have to sacrifice. That's true. In order to, to, to give it to, to them. give it to them. So yeah, for sure.
But the person that likes things that cost money probably ain't gonna wouldn't appreciate, appreciate that. that. No. So it depends. And there are many years I've baked Joseph things for Christmas, like like banana bread. We've we've done that before too. We've given baked goods as gifts, and that's mm -hmm. also hit or miss. He loves banana bread, well, like so this, that was a hit. This year, the candy kumquat. Um, um, we're out of ours, right? Or do we I have one more? I still haven't have given. Them. No, I thought we had. We we've emptied two jars, and I brought home four jars. Uh, four or five. That is Maybe. definitely he like, he like when the it. tree starts producing again or the bush starts producing, you just definitely make some more. And oh, I have a bunch in the fridge that need to get done. Processed. Well, don't wait too long because then you'll yeah, have the family. Doesn't have much you should before. probably just yeah. make ketchup out of it, like we talked about. Says they made their brother-in-law a free steak coupon for Christmas. No oh. idea what to give him. I still have to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> free steak. Does that mean that they're going to cook it for him, or? Unclear. It's like a steak dinner, or is that just give him a steak? An uncooked steak. Uh -huh. Oh. I don't know though. Uh, My good steak is good know. steak. Yeah. Yeah, we and did. if it comes marinated, that might be even That's better. True. We did, um, what was it, prime, not prime rib, but rib it steak? Was, what yeah, was it was prime, it was, they were very thick prime ribs. Right? But they prime were they were sold as steaks. Right, yeah, right. For Christmas, and that turned out really right. good. And the, the butcher recommended that we slice them and laterally to uh, break them down to like two but we didn't do that we no, just cooked cut them, them like that and then cut them in half and cut them into pieces and it was really good because you get that thicker meat. and that was something you know you you were nervous about it because you'd never we'd never done well, it I'll tell you and secret. it turned out good i had bought some beef chuck eye steaks which oh, i you liked. Them in I the really boiler. liked and i really like because they're usually well marbled and they're usually juicier than heavy beef like yeah. sirloin yeah. or anything like that and I did that one night. I didn't, didn't, didn't marinate them. But you did but them under the broiler. And, pepper, and I did them under the broiler. And they were good. Yeah, because you, like you get the, the co nice cooked outside, but the inside is yeah, still But juicy. I would prefer to do it on a grill. Well, the grill is not accessible. Yeah, well. Is it in, in any better shape? Probably not because he, had, he hasn't cleaned it. But uh, I'm still waiting for my hurricane chips to come down. That's the bottom. Did y'all? Mm-hmm. I need to get another cover for it. Keep because because mildew yeah, and mold wasps. is growing there. Oh, wasps! I could put a bomb in there. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Down here, the, the wasps are fierce. They live what everywhere. That gross. Yeah, well, it if was it been mostly full of spring, ash. if it had been spring, it would have been full of wasps. No, because we closed up the, the vents and normally have a cover on it, but the covers. From being out in the in the weather, they do deteriorate pretty yeah. fast. Fast. I love that that barbecue grill. I mean, we've had a we've had a gas grill. We've had and this almost one, went a little hibachi. This one is so no, I don't. No, we on. have had that. We've had all kinds of different grills. This one is so easy. So what did you? So last night we played. Monopoly, but it's Cheetah's like a, Cheater's Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, it's a special version. What do you think of Cheater's Monopoly? It makes me very distrustful of my children. <laughs> I don't realize what Cheater's is. Really... That's the rule of the game. Yeah. Normally, I would not do that. By the end of the game, everybody had stolen property. They, yeah. they encourage you to do that's the game. <laughs> we're so busy watching Dev and the obvious because cheater. he's the other. We're watching the other cheaters. Well, we, but we were all cheating ourselves. You included because no, you I stole don't. property. Too. I just have to, you know, that makes me think that next time we play, I have to position myself to uh, in a different spot. In a different spot where there's better property. Yeah, like where there's a green yeah, and a blue. Yeah, probably. And Joseph's complaint was he couldn't steal any property like that because he <laughs> sat too far from the board. Yeah. Although Paula didn't sit by the expensive property and she, she made it well. like a bandit. Part of it was that it was stole from her. <laughs> <laughs> Well, next time I'm going to be so gentle. That's right. Every every <coughs> Ravage her. When she goes to the bathroom, we'll ravage that, her. No, I'm not going to. Ravage her. Money. I just would not have paid. 
while she was in the bathroom. <laughs> and, uh, I wouldn't have paid rent. I wasn't gonna like steal your money. There's like a difference between like anyway, just enough that it's sporting and like you, it's just mean. And we all, most of us, ended up broke anyway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Devin gave up because he was out of money and out of property. He kept selling property to Joseph for like exorbitant amounts. Well, for the property, but it really yeah, wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't good property. Amount. It was like Baltic and Mediterranean with a hotel on it, which amounts yeah. to nothing. Yeah. Well, yeah, nobody was landing on him. You probably spend more for the hotel than you ever did. I that think idea. so. Well, he was counting on that. Anyway, is that a game that y'all would consider playing again? My problem with Monopoly is it didn't get fun until people got desperate and we started bidding on property. <laughs> so my problem is Monopoly is too slow. Well, the beginning of the game is about divvying up all the properties. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I mean, this has been my complaint about Monopoly forever. It's like once all the properties bought up, yeah. it's a very it becomes a very boring game for us. Like maybe we're not playing it right or we're not sharky enough. So you're whatever. saying that you wouldn't want to play that again? I would play it again, but soon. we need yeah, we need to give it some. You'd time. have to you'd have to play with some neophytes. No, you know, you'd have to play with some people fun. that have never played before. That's mean. No, that's I think mean. it might be funner. To Why play is that it. mean? That's the object of the game is to, to take cheat. advantage, but that's too much like real life. Well, you read the directions to them and you tell them what oh. what's in okay. Them. All right, by neophytes, <laughs> maybe other adults, but I wouldn't do that to like. Well, I'm just I don't saying know. somebody I've never played some real before. sharp ten year olds. I'm just yeah. saying to people who've never played it before. That's all I'm saying. And those handcuffs just let her out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they come with little plastic handcuffs that end up dragging through the board and disrupting everybody's hotels. And Devin plucking like three hotels. It was funny, but also like. Becca's stealing out of the. Because Every there's time. no one banker. When it's your turn, you're the banker. They, I think that's the point. And so Becca was basically stealing from the bank. To the bank every go round. I would have been out way go. sooner if I hadn't. It's again. It's just cheaters monopoly. That's in encouraged in the rules. No, it isn't. Yes, it yes, is. It was. It did. Okay. It said so there's, the and that is what everyone except you said they wanted to play was the no holds barred cheat whenever you can way. Joseph's the only one who was like, oh, I want to just play the regular way first, and all of us are like, yeah, while he was stealing my money. Yeah. <laughs> You're you gonna remember that a long time. I understand. Well, this was with the, within the rules of the game too. It He's said that. It. Go yeah. back and read it. it He's said just salty. You could do something because like he that. wasn't in a good position no, to steal from us. A... You should have been robbing Devin game. blind. Devin's so easy to distract. Yeah, he distracts his was, us. His money wasn't spread all over he the place. It was just kind of know that, right? I don't know. You think he thought that far ahead? No, but I think he realized at one point that it was beneficial to him and just kept it that way. See, a, a good way to play that game is to pretend you're a little dumber than you are. Well, I know this. Not we a lot. You don't him. want to get caught. We were watching him. He still got away with stuff. Yes, yeah, he did. Because he, he was were distracting us. <laughs> while he was, while we were looking at him. Like you weren't stealing. You stole property too. I stole two properties. You stole property from me. <laughs> that was at the end of the game and I didn't even put it out. But I mean, I stole property that was still on the board. Yeah, I only stole two like that as well. But that's the only cheating I did. I didn't, I didn't take any money. You should have been. Well, I didn't. You'd have had more to go along. Okay, so what does it say? So you finished yours. It looks yeah. like an igloo. Uh, over it says repeat steps two three with the next paper circle overlapping them slightly then repeat until one the form is filled with circles which I've done it's yeah. okay to and, have gaps does, do you let it dry and then it comes off of the form it no, has to dry for like five days. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Are the are the circles double sided? They are yes. Okay. They're double. They're printed. They're double the printed. Side. Yeah. Um. It's okay to have gaps between the circles. This is normal. Gently run your applicator around the surface to spread out clumps of glue and apply more glue as needed to smooth out the That's surface. That's kind of what I figured. Yeah, but I don't know how I'm going to smooth out the surface. You got some clumpy glue. Some, but I, no, I mean, it's just, it's it's on a slick surface. Yeah. It's going to it's going to slide down. Yeah. But I still have all these big gaps. 
And there are actual places where the glue resisted. Oh, that's not good. The I didn't have that. That could be a problem with the brush they included. No, I think it's the problem with the slickness of the paper. Anyway, and apply more glue as needed to smooth out the surface. If your paper is not curving with the bowl, wait several minutes for the glue to become tacky. Then press down the paper edges and they'll stay in place. Yeah, right. Uh, no, these are too stiff for I don't that. I think so. These are very stiff. Although, I mean, they're just not going to stay in place. They're not going to stay in place. I'm trying to. I think the problem is you did. Oh, never mind. They need bigger bowls, frankly, because these small bowls, it gives like kind of a shingle effect, whereas with the larger bowls, yeah. it, they lie closer to the. Yes. But you also have a lot of. Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, ah! Oh, excuse you. I did that on purpose to help you. Yeah, uh huh. We're not playing Cheater Monopoly here. I helped you too. In what? Cheater Monopoly? Yeah, I would. I, would I helped you also. Read directions for you. While I'm reading directions, y'all cheating from me. No. Y'all stealing. You only stole one thing from me, and that was a property. I tried to pay you for it. How? Not that that's a good excuse. I multiple times was like, do you want to trade for this? I didn't want do to trade. Do you want to sell it? Like, every time you were short on money, I asked you for it. So, so you just stole you the property. You should have noticed. <laughs> you just helped me out by stealing the property. Yeah. Yeah, so and sometimes I'd see other people cheating and, like, weigh whether or not it was worth pointing it out. Yeah, because you saw Paul cheat. cheat. No, I didn't. You said that last night. You what? saw when she took the property, you said. Oh, one of them, yeah, but I was doing the same thing. So the thing was, <laughs> if I called you out, I was pretty Is sure you saw so me stealing, did too. Did you see her steal? She was looking. I don't know did if it's... Did you see her? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I don't know that I noticed. Well, <laughs> probably not. You never know, though. Yeah, you never know. So, like, when you call out somebody for cheating... And it's the same cheating you're doing. You gotta watch it because they're gonna. They well, you can always you deny that. it. Well, yeah. What did it say if you were too. falsely accused? They had to pay you. Yeah. Well, how can you prove it if you can prove exactly. it? Exactly. It's all. I think it's mostly about like providing a compelling <coughs> case, even if it's not a. Right. Honest. Everybody's got a compelling case. Exactly. <coughs> Truly a monopoly for our times. Anyway, so I thought that would be fun. So, that was Joseph's, one of Joseph's Christmas presents for me. Yeah. It's definitely the best version of Monopoly. That, the most fun I've had with Monopoly. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, most of the time, Monopoly, you, could, you could get old and die. Yeah. yeah. Before the end of the game, we play Monopoly like that, and it's just like, finally you go, let's quit. Yep. Because yeah. this is getting too We did long. actually quit. No, we didn't end the game. We've been playing... For two yeah, hours? but there were several of us that were bankrupt or, or close. close to bankruptcy. Yeah. yeah, I should have been stealing from the bank more. <laughs> you should have been stealing. You were stealing from the bank and you were still going bankrupt. Yeah, I was struggling and stealing property. And, and stealing struggling. property. So for well, all that's that. because I kept landing on other people's, like early in the game, I kept landing on railroads and not on property or on community chest or whatever. And then later in the game, I kept landing on other people's property. And then when Devin had no property, there was just no way he was gonna make any, he knew, like there's no way you're gonna make any. He was getting tired, he wanted ice cream anyway. Yeah, well, frozen yogurt. Speaking of, he ate that after he ate his breakfast as well. <laughs> oh, on that note, if you are a diabetic or you love someone who has diabetes and you live in the greater New Orleans area, Todd's Famous Frozen Yogurt makes diabetic-friendly frozen no yogurt. Carbs, That's pretty good. No sugar. Yeah. And, they, it, and it tastes pretty good. really good. Well, your dad used to like it when we would go to Lakeside. Daddy liked diabetic when he was though. When he was, when he had cancer. Yeah. And he was also diabetic, but... His was mostly controlled with diet until he started going into the hospital oh, with like pneumonia. Cancer, and then, and then they put him on insulin. He just wasn't eating enough. They put him, no, they just didn't want to mess with making sure that his diet was appropriate. It was just easier to take his, his test his, his blood sugar yeah. and just give him insulin. Okay, so once we've got it covered, we're just, ah, it wants to stick to my fingers. We're just going around and we're spreading a thin layer of glue. No, what you're doing is you're it down. Yeah, well, mine's not tamping. Yeah, mine doesn't really mine doesn't want to tamp. tamp. 
Yours is more likely to. Yeah, it's because these yeah. are too stiff. Too stiff, right. But if they were thinner, that, then they would well, soak up we too have, much of the... I don't know, we have one You want to try doing that with yep. a small bowl? Yep, so I'm going to move this, and next week when we do our chill stream... The good thing about this slip is that if this glue should run down to the yeah, bottom... Yeah, it's going to catch it. It's going to catch it. It also gives you something to handle, so you're not handling just yeah. the... Okay. Looks like a cake almost. While you're waiting for the glue to dry, wash your hands with the water, replace the cover on the glue, wrap your foam applicator in plastic wrap or plastic sandwich bag so the glue doesn't dry. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, the apply small a thin bowl. layer of glue over the bowl, smoothing it out as you go. This is after it's dry. Okay, okay, and so that's next week. Clear, repeat this step two more times. Oh, you so know you what? I will do. I will do it throughout the week. I will re-glue it. So that well, way we're not... It's to let it dry for five days. Okay, well, I'll let it dry for five days and then apply another coat on the fifth yeah, day. Yeah, you do this like three Friday. times and you let it dry. Jeez. And then you peel the form away from the bowl a little bit at a time, sliding your fingers between the bowl and form as you go around the rim. If you work them apart gently, then the bowl forms can be used again. You'll just need more paper shapes and water-based decoupage. Glue. So they didn't say our paper shapes. They just said more paper yes. shapes. And they didn't specify. They and didn't then, say magazine no, circles didn't. or anything like that. To finish applying a layer of glue to the inside of the bowl to smooth out the surface, once it dries clear, it's ready to use. But wait, can't use it for food. Yeah. Okay. Just for like keys. The glue will continue to cure or harden for several keys. days. Oh okay. my gosh, this so is this doesn't very get... involved. Like we could do clay. And it would be quicker than this. You just you just don't do one layer. So we're gonna pick these up. Uh, I'm gonna do the right because we're gonna use the on other this things one. on the small one. Yeah. It actually, if you have some smaller better. punches, I don't. That's the only two I've got because they're for convention buttons. Yeah. Well, these are smaller than those right there. You're doing them on both sides, right? Yeah. I'm and this try. is just the regular paper. This, this is, is not... printer paper. It's nothing okay. fancy. All right. Um, it's the paper from last week's water marbling thing. Right. So what's keeping it from running, like if you printed it out using a dye-based home printer, it would run. This glue would make it run. So toner printer is the way you want to go. I'm just going to get this all over me. Yeah, I don't it's care Because anymore. it's it's very flexible. It might be easier to put it on here and then do put one the, side. Then, no, then put the layer on top after. Right, do one side. And like this. Vermis agrees clay would be faster. I would like to do clay. I've been looking at pottery kits, but the, the thing about pottery kits is that the cheapy cheap ones are probably absolute garbage. And the expensive ones are a little the wheel? Yeah. Are a little more than I want to pay. Oh no, don't do it onto the bowl. Well, I guess you Yeah, it's just going to, but yeah. you're putting glue on the other yeah. side anyway. Did you put it on that no. side? Well, not, not yet. I'll do it. I'll okay. do that. Okay, all right, we're going to have an assembly line. We're going to have an have assembly line. Okay. And, and that way we can turn it. I would like, I mean, I, I said early on I'm not a sculptor, but I would like to try doing a clay one at some point. And there's also air dry clay. You know what was neat? This was something that Paul had years ago, and I always thought it was so cool. You had a jar about this big that had crayon drippings. Oh, we can do all around we can do. the outside. You remember that jar? Dryer. I remember that. That was, that was so neat. cool. And I tried doing that with day camp. And it didn't work? With regular candles. And you have to have a special kind of candle, I think. This was crayons that was dripped all over the outside. Because they were like different colors. They no, this was, we had done it with wax, with wax candles. Oh, 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 I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But like it was a dressing bottle with the crayons. No, it was about this big. It was a jar. Yeah, that was wax. That was, we had done that at, at, at recreation one day or something. And I tried to do that with, uh, but they must have used a different kind of candle. Because the sure was crayons didn't drip out the color that the yeah it probably dripped out clear yeah yeah this this was like crayons well these this was this was candles because they were they were different they colors were candles 
And I don't know what kind of fire <coughs> candle she's using. Because that would mean that y'all are messing with fire. Too. What I've seen people do is they've done canvases where they like attach the crayons on at the top and either use like um, a home blow torch, you know, like creme brulee, brulee yeah. or yeah. a hair dryer on the hottest setting to get them to melt down the canvas. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's cool. Neat. I mean, now, so, what we used to do in class, in school, we used to do, um, when I was teaching, we used to do fall leaves with uh, yeah, I did that leaves too. that were cut out and wax Between wax paper and iron. And then you put crayon shavings in there. And yeah, iron I did that. Y'all did more fun stuff than we did. I swear, is, when I was in kindergarten, we didn't do any. The problem um, is, is with the iron, you get all that wax all over your iron. Well, the thing is, you put it between, you put the newspaper the thing on, um, between a towel. Well, then you get the wax all over the town. No, the, the wax stays inside the wax paper. It's like okay. a sandwich. Yeah, but there's, but there's wax on both sides of wax paper. But it doesn't, it, it doesn't. Is it like a negligible about amount? It doesn't come out on the towel. Well, I did the same thing for the third grade class I was Here, teaching in. this one. I was student teaching in. And uh, shaved all those crayons. Jeez. Could have used a pencil sharpener, like a hand yeah, Pretty much, oh, yeah. Did. Oh, it was a lot. It was a lot, yeah. Well, that's what I had an aide that helped me to do that when I was doing well, that. Well, student teachers don't get AIDS. Well, they do, they can get AIDS, it's just not from that. Yeah. Okay, and we have probably two more, really, really. Probably. Yeah, this is the one that's going to be hard, I think, to take off. It is going to be hard to take because off. Because it's a thinner paper. We'll see, though. They didn't specify, oh, you have to use. So with our the paper we're using, which, again, is just printer paper, um, it is getting a tighter adherence to the bowl. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to have all the open. Although that in itself could be an, The open is fine. It's where it like shingles off yeah. that I'm not so hot on because it kind of makes it not sit like a bowl. Well, we'll see. So you're going to finish these? Yeah. You're going to finish them or just put one? No, on? I'm going to put at least one coat, maybe two. And take them off the bowls? No, I'm going to save that for next Monday. Okay. What kit do you want? What do you want to do next Monday? We can do wood burning or we can do painting okay. again. Or if the weather's nice, we could do tie dye. Ooh, get you some, get you a lot of rubber bands. Oh, I have a lot of rubber bands. Okay. And I used to do tie. I used to tie down my my rosaries. Yeah. That I used to make. We tie dyed in art class in college. I had to bring shirts and dye, and we tie dyed in class. I made two shirts. That was a class for um, art with special needs kids. Yeah. Although some of those things I would never have done with special needs. You know, you know. Because they were more complicated are, and more difficult than some of the other ones. There are different special needs. Oh, so I you know. could have a child with ADHD or autism. They didn't. They weren't could thinking very like that. much. Do that. They didn't differentiate. They didn't, they didn't, no, they didn't. Because all those special ed classes that I took were kind of the same. They were, yeah, they, they covered all of them, but yeah. didn't really focus on depth. just one. Yeah. That was those days. There's a 30% chance of rain next Monday. Okay. Oh, y'all yeah, going back to the um, spillway, right? That's what Devin says. Did he, tell, did he say that? <laughs> yeah. Are you going? Probably not Monday. Not Monday. Yeah, you got. Oh, because Tuesday we're going up to Franklinton, so you can't on Monday. Anyway. And I didn't call the Forester. The Forester, because I'm still looking for the phone number. Okay. So. Well, this somewhere. would look cool if it turns out with the marbled paper and stuff. Yeah, well, we'll see. And that is a cool way to kind of reuse something you've already made. I, oh, another another thing I look for when I'm looking at kits combining is I like things that are like decorative and that you can it's ready to put up on the wall yeah. or useful i don't like crafts that are just like we're gonna do a thing just to do a thing my number <laughs> that's not for me a lot of people use it for like relaxation and i think that's great but that's not for me i sent your clay man from 2011 
11 scan. Oh, the Ecrochet guy? Yeah. Uh, Vermis said he looked at the first plane that's sitting inside the door frame, and for a minute he thought, wait, is that life size? No. No, 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 no. very comprehensive. Well, it, it had to be. Okay. And I was so scared because Hudson was a fair but hard grader. Clay man. You were mostly scared about the heat flopping off. It of did, the though. I constant, I had to change the pose entirely because the heat made it warp off of the metal armature. Yeah, I did a necrochet class, which is where you sculpt the human form in clay. Well, you clay with an armature. Uh-huh. And it was to, it was a human anatomy necrochet uh-huh. class. And, uh. Yeah, I, I do. I got an. I don't remember. I either got an A or a B. I, I wasn't. Ex, let me put it this way. I gave it my best, but I wasn't expecting an A because he. I'd taken his class before, and he's kind of a hard teacher. And ecroche was literally his bread and butter. He made dinosaur ecrochets for museums, so he. Yeah, but was a hard was, act to please. If that was the first time y'all ever done it. No, I think I made either an A or a B. Why would he be hard if it was the first time? Um, even if well, he was a an lot of people now. would slack in that class because the way the format of the class was, it really required you to be an adult and utilize your time because a lot of it was like you could choose not to come into class, yeah, or you could and choose you did it on your own time, yeah, or you could choose not you to bring your accroche for a lot of the classes, but it better yeah, be you do that. great, huh? You missed a spot right there. I'm just gonna put one there. It better be great when he sees it. Now, see, I only missed class, like, once because I had a show that weekend and I'd already talked to him about it and I made up what I'd missed, but I was always bringing in my accrochet. Anything. What was that in? Scad. Anything to help me get that grade. I was always trying to do things that would give me the benefit of the doubt. I like to make it a little bit more creative. Like donuts. He did not want creative. He wanted it to look like what it was supposed to look like. Yeah, but it make the, the pose a little bit more difficult. Uh, I do not have that capability. There are ways that... I, mean, I was not basic, that good. Basic stuff. No, basically I mean, what, you, what he basic. had us do is we took photos of a model at the Very beginning of the semester. And then we had to tell him which one we were working from. And then he graded us based on that. And mine had melted so much that I took a new reference photo with Joseph in the pose. And I came to him and I was like, look, my thing is really melted. This is where we're going from here, if you're okay with that. And he said... And he appreciated that I came to him and talked to well, him about Well, of course. It. I mean, things happen, you know? Okay, so this is our From Home Pieces one. I think so far it's working out better, in my opinion, because it Paper adheres center. better. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. So during the week, I got to do, what, two more coats on these things? Something like that, Yeah. yeah. The thing about it being thinner, though, is it's going to, you're going to have to peel that off. Carefully. That form. And it being thinner might be a disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Because you might be, be peeling the delicate. paper off the form instead yeah. of peeling the form yeah. off the paper. All right. Let's pick this yes. up. So what do you think of this kit so far? To me? Yep. Uh, it's not hard. I mean, you know, this is something that can be done. So far. I think with children, it's kind of sticky, but, you very, know. Very sticky. And a lot of kids that will paint glue on their hands and let and it dry peel so it they off. can peel it yeah, off. Yeah, they need so, that sensory um, and, stimulation. And with all the glue that's being used now for um, slime, slime, you yeah. know, I don't know that that's going to be such a huge issue. Back in my day, we were lectured for wasting glue. Now they waste it all the time, and then you throw crap. I mean, stuff, stuff in it. Stuff in it. <laughs> like glitter. Glitter and sprinkles. Beads and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the um, person at, at the hospital where I was recovering, <clears throat> um, one, one time the um, physical therapist came in. With slime? To work with no, but she came in with some clay. Oh, and yeah. And had beads in yeah. it. Yeah. And I just thought that was just so strange because it was it was hard enough for my hands to manipulate the, the clay. Yeah. You know, much so less work around those much beads. Much less work around those beads. So when I would find them, I would take them and throw them away. Ooh. I didn't know they were so But slime would be there. different because you're not spending so much effort manipulating the yeah. slime. Okay, so. 
this is where we're at right now with the bowls. These are the two done using their circles. And here is the third one done using ours. Now, one of my complaints about this is I kind of wish they'd included more bowls. A, for the price. I mean, we were paying $18 for this kit. And uh, you don't really get $18 worth of stuff, in my opinion. No, that's a lot of money. It yeah. is a lot of yeah. money. It's kind of pricey for the like, negligible. The, store, it would be $3, maybe. the paper $3. circles? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe. The bowls are probably like. They're made from milk cartons. Things. Yeah, they're made from like milk carton plastic. You could actually, you could do this with a milk carton, a clean milk carton, cut off the bottom. I mean, you're going to have a squareish bowl. Yeah. I mean, I'm saying you could you could do this though. You could do it with containers. It came with one yeah. brush. It was not eighteen dollars no, worth of kit. That's like seven, eight dollars. Yeah. A day. brush that says yeah. foam brush. On foam it. brush. That's the... okay. So where's the cap? And what do you want right to do here? With your brush? I'm gonna wash these. Yeah, I would let them soak. Uh, in this in this dojo said it looks a bit pricey I guess they're including the quote we gathered materials for you unquote and that cost and spiking that yeah probably uh Irma said polyethylene question mark for what i'm not sure i don't know what that's referring to like polyethylene plastic oh i guess oh, oh the what kind of plastic would you yeah yeah like maybe like on a solo cup or something you know except there's too many ridges and stuff like even something like that to use as a as a form uh what else so just let them sit um i have seen these <sighs> kits it come off just let Ooh, it sit it is nasty um i've seen these kits online i've seen them at other stores they always run y'all aren't gonna be able to hear me give me a second i can hear you no i meant the camera We'll repeat it. Um, David was charging a little high for this, but they're usually fifteen to twenty dollars because they do. They have like um a mermaid themed kit, and they have like dream catcher kits. Except the problem with the dream catcher kit, well, there's a lot of problems with it. But one of the big ones is that it's mostly done for you, yeah. and I'm just like, what's yeah. the point? The people assembling these are swifter than that. So while it's a cute idea, yeah, it was it's expensive. really something that you could probably do. Super cheap. If you could get if, the instructions, you probably get this if online. If this works, yeah, well, yeah, we'll have to see what that what that does. Yeah, because that kind of paper, that in itself, it is stiffer. Yeah. It's not cardboard. I do think it's a ma very like nice magazine, like National Geographic. But it's also printed on both sides. But so it would be National Geographic. You could punch from pages that have something on both sides. And then National, National Geographic, National Geographic. Is very thin. If that yeah. gets wet, it tears. Yeah. Well, this didn't tear, surprisingly. It started to in some places. Well. So when you said milk cartons, did you mean the cardboard ones with the no no yes or the plastic the plastic, the plastic ones. ones this is like that kind of it's plastic it's the same kind of thing that's what he was saying that's polyethylene yeah okay it's that kind of plastic yeah although I don't know if I would put some of these it's just an idea I mean if you're a parent or a guardian or a babysitter and you're looking for a cheap doable craft and you don't mind I would up do a mess, it on a Pyrex bowl. I'd go, just being I'd careful go to Dollar to. Tree and try to get some plastic, like a set of four plastic Because bowls. Pyrex is going to give you that shape. Yeah. And it does have a lip, too. It, it, you can clean the stuff off of it. It's not like it's going to get embedded in the Pyrex, yeah. in the glass. The thing is that it is glass. And, and then this is probably just Mod Podge. Yeah, and you could get that. It's, it smells like and, Walmart, And, the, and the, the foam brushes... You can get foam brushes at Dollar Tree. You can get them at Walmart and Pax. I wouldn't do the foam brush. I would, would do rather these. do a regular paintbrush. And I got that from Walmart. See, I'm almost I'm almost ready to peel. All right, so um, you're Gracie out there. Yeah, I have some work to do on those bowls after they've dried for five days. So that also requires patience. That see, this is a weird one, okay? Because I feel like price wise and looks wise, this is aimed at teenage girls, um, like fifteen year old girls. But it is. A very easy craft and the included materials are so cheap that I feel like a teenager would be very disappointed with this kit but the thing is overpriced is that for what it is you can take that and you can go off in another direction there are other 
creative direction. Well, they have you can instructional videos at annwilliamsgroup.com slash videos. I'm sure they've got lots of other projects that we could probably bootleg from their website. Well, you bought the kit. I did it's buy not this like kit. You're stealing anything. Well, if they're putting it on a public facing website, you're yeah. not stealing. It's not and like then, I'm using any. When you're finished, this is sweet the fun hacksers. Part. The fun part's peeling, it's peeling off the glue. All the glue off your fingers yeah. after it dries. Because it's like Helmer's and it just peels off. All right, so I think that's all we got for this evening. So did it take as long as you thought it was going to take? I have no idea how, how long this was Well, we're running take. late, so we're not running late anymore no, now. No, no, and we only took an hour to do this one. And usually when we do these streams, it's about two hours. Okay, so next week we're doing what? We're going to do the... I don't know. We could do pyromancy. I mean, wood burning. Uh -huh. We could do... Uh, what do you guys want to see? Let me show you guys what I have. And... Yeah, yeah sometimes. And right? there's the grandkids. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, you know what? Could use this. Almost. Uh, Had to dip it. No, you'd have to, because you wouldn't do it on the inside, you'd do it on the outside. Could and the problem almost? with that is that you yeah. got... What am I doing? <clears throat> okay. All right. So, we could do acrylic pouring part two with actual acrylic paints and that's the pouring medium that's what you use and what to are we kind of extend it on well i don't know i, mean, I could what... pick something up during the week if i know if i know we're doing that um we could do this wonderful kit from five below it's watercolor painting we could do this kit from Five Below. Yeah. It is rock painting. She's afraid of that one. No, I'm not. It's like, it's like, um, come on, really. The only difference is that you we're know, painting. A lot on. of my students with the art squad want to learn how to do rock painting. Seriously. Like, this They're is young. hard? They're like nine, but they want to know how to do it. Well, around here, you're not going to find rocks. No, like you're not going to find good buy rocks. Them. Yeah. You we could do tie dye if the weather permits, because we'd need to do it outside. Or we could do wood burning. So we have this. We have the wood burning. We have the tie dye. Oh. And we have rock painting. Rock painting. So which one would you guys want to see? Which one are y'all interested in? Oh, we can also do um, alcohol ink marbling. And what would we do that on? Uh, you can use Yupo, which is a polypropylene paper. Or I also have these little squares. So it's still marbling, but it it's just still marbling. different. It's just different marbling. Okay. Well, that so, would be a good one to compare. I'm waiting on the the um, needle felting kit to come in. Well, if my picture comes out looking like this... I and think that's the one I want to do with pre-printed stuff. Yes, it comes. But what I canvas. was gonna do, yeah, I know. I don't like that. What I was gonna yeah, do with you this, don't do. open it. Oh, that's not the point. Thing. What I was gonna do is probably augment this kit because uh, I have some other dye-based watercolors and blank stuff. Blank canvas. I have. I'm just curious what's included in the rock painting. Kit. In the rock painting kit, probably a rock. And well, some paint so the here's box. the downside. It's made by Hinkler, which is the same group that packaged the manga kit you and I did. That was so good. Um, however, if we did the rock kit, because it comes with these little acrylic paint pots, the world's saddest paintbrush, yes. a dowel, and glitter blue. Yeah. I have um, Posca pins, which are like paint pins. I have acrylic paints, like. And see, this is showing like pearl. Yeah. Like those pearly things. You can things. get these at Dollar Tree right I know, now. but they don't include that I know, they're not in the kit. kit. I know. And I doubt, seriously, if this paint, like if you want to cover the, the top of your rock, mm -hmm. unless it's this big, this paint, it's going to be like that other thing that we did where you run out of materials, you can only do one thing. Yeah. And I don't know. Anyway, you got that one at five and below. Five below. Yeah. Okay. And five below. Yeah. <clears throat> and this canvas has nothing printed on it. So you but I could, have, draw you could draw on something on it for you. Or yeah. 
Um, that's one of the reasons I put off doing the watercolor kit and the wood burning kit is because I wanted to prepare something Could, so that this only has one canvas. I you can get canvases at Dollar Tree. Seven pieces, but one, one canvas. canvas. You better one and done. Yeah. And liquid glitter. It says liquid glitter bottle. It didn't say it contains liquid. That's true. Glitter. It could just be a bottle. Just for like the three glitter. watercolor ink bottles. Could just be bottles. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to vote for the rock paint painting kit. We got to vote for that. Yeah. And people on previous streams have said they were interested in seeing you um, do wood burning. Okay. All right. Well, we don't have to make a decision today. Nope. Y'all can leave their votes, and you can go back and count. Yeah. And make you guys like can that. let me know in my Discord server the paint box. Uh, and, which and what kit, is this to? That's acrylic pouring. So this would be like acrylic pouring on, on part canvas? two. I'd have to go get canvases and, or or tiles. We could try doing it on a ceramic tile or um, mm. on Gracie. Mm. Especially if she does that bargain. Or on a pumpkin. I think we found Gracie's next to Ken, next door at our house. Oh, no, that one's Every way time you go outside, no, yeah. no, no, you walk out the door, that dog is there. We could also Bargain. try, um, I have some pumpkins from Halloween. Could try acrylic pouring on the pumpkins. But what are they made out of? Plastic. They're like, um, they're from Michael's. Okay. Anyway, let, let me know what you guys want to see in the paint box. Joseph will put a link to that in the chat room. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream, and I hope you guys have a wonderful and safe week. Stay healthy, my friends. Goodbye.